So I'm standing in this tiny little orchard and I am here with Lyle. Who are you with, Lyle? I am with uh, Collier Arbor Care, a division of Bartlett Tree Experts. Nice. Now, I gotta ask right away, I'm sure you guys have been doing this a long time. I know you have, and you've got to hear the same questions quite often. So what is one of the main top questions you hear every year about pruning? Why do I prune my fruit tree? And you know, for us, that might not seem like a really valuable question, but it is, because why do we prune fruit trees? One, fruit trees are very vigorous trees that being unpruned would grow out of size and shape very rapidly. Number one reason we have fruit trees is mainly for the fruit production. Sure. So if the fruit is growing up high and you can't reach it, you've kind of negated the purpose of having a fruit tree. So in a home orchard, we like to keep the trees smaller because we're here for the fruit. And so we basically, every year, we continually to control the size of that canopy in order to keep the fruit lower on the canopy. And I'm going to make a jump here of logic, and you tell me if I'm wrong now. I would think that proper pruning probably produces better and more fruit. Correct. Many times you see fruit trees done by homeowners or people that they cut every one of the sprouts off. Sure. And yeah. what that actually does is reduces the fruit production and it kind of removes the production of fruit. Here we have last year's fruit spur, uh, uh, basically a sucker growth uh -huh. that grew last year. Leaving this this year, we will then have fruit spurs okay. the following year. So. By removing all these, you've negated the whole purpose of the fruit tree. And so when we come through and we do thinning on these, we want to really focus on where our next branch is, but we also want to keep the control of the tree so it doesn't outgrow sure. its space and usefulness. Makes perfect sense. So what is the next thing that you guys get asked a lot? Uh, timing, when should we prune that tree? Oh yeah. So timing is based on the what is the homeowner or the tree's owner objective? Is it there for the bloom? Is it there for the fruit production? So we can kind of look at it two different ways. If we're looking at fruit production, we always want to prune during dormancy. And that can be from November 15th to probably about March 15th is probably the the very edge of it depending on the weather that we have here we are in late february and we're also seeing we're already seeing some of the bud blue yeah uh, bud expansion things there. like that so so looking at timing wise so if we're looking at fruit production we want to prune during dormancy but if you're looking at reducing the fruit production and still want to have an aesthetically pleasing tree we would wait till after the blooms and then we come through and cut all the blooms off therefore negating Apple production. So really, a lot of the way you prune is in a lot of the way that you want to use the, the plant. Correct. Okay. What's the objective? That's really where we should start on all pruning is what are you trying to achieve? You can Trees don't need to be pruned. We're yeah. trying to make them do something for us, okay. whether it's aesthetics, safety, things like that. And so then what's another question that's asked often? Uh, what would be another question that we would say is how or you know, where do you make that cut? So as you see, Johnny moves through this. This is a very mature um, fruit tree. We have several around here, and you can kind of see some of the bigger cuts that we made on some yeah. of these just to keep the control. So by removing this branch that was sticking all the way out here, we've shortened it back, and now we're forcing more growth all to these branches to become the new canopy. In, turn, in time, we'll be basically coming back to another. We'll just and constantly the keeping thing. the size relatively small to the base, to the available so space I'll, of the I, tree. I get all that, but to me, a lot of that was like in a foreign language. Now, if I'm the average homeowner, I, yes. I want some fruit trees. You're more than happy to help t tell people how to do things, but if they really get confused, they can just call you for help, That's right? correct. <laughs> we're very good at it, and we basically we build on that homeowner's objective. Yeah, because you listen for. to what they say and what correct. they want. Yep. So you know whether you want to learn how to do pruning yourself, or if you'd rather take the better and easier road and have them come out and do it for you, you can go to gardentime.tv. We'll click you over to their website and give them a call and get all the help you need. Lyle, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you.